welcome to the Reagan Farm YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you the full cost analysis to raise Cornish Cross chickens for meat and how much money can be made if you want to raise chickens for a living. Check out the link in the video description below if you want to see how we raised and processed our first batch of broiler chickens. We sold several whole chickens and loaded our freezer with boneless, skin on breasts and leg quarters. Now let's talk about the cost to raise chickens for meat. We already had everything from raising egg laying chickens, so our only expenses were the chicks themselves and the feed. We had all the equipment to process except the plucker, which is a luxury but necessary for a farm that will process thousands and thousands of birds over the years, and the poultry cone, which can be made for very little money if you're only using it for personal use and not business use like us. We bought 26 chickens for $25. They ate 100 pounds of chick feed at $20 for a 50 pound bag before upgrading to a high protein feed. They went through 150 pounds of that at $14 per 50 pound bag, so our total cost was $107. 10 of the chickens were sold live for $5 a piece, and 3 were sold as whole chickens for $5 a pound. 2 were 4.5 pounds, and the other was 5 pounds. We kept the remaining 13 chickens that weighed 4 to 5 pounds each, totaling almost 60 pounds. That means we made $13 and got all that meat for free. We also have a breakdown of how much it costs to raise chickens to sell live versus processed. 26 chickens went through 100 pounds of chick feed in that first 5 weeks. That's 3.85 pounds per bird. At $20 per 50 pound bag, it's $1.54 worth of feed each. With that added to the $1 each chick cost to buy, we profited $2.46 when we sold them for $5. The 16 chickens left over went through 150 pounds of broiler feed in the remaining 3 weeks. That was 9.38 pounds per bird. At $14 per 50 pound bag, it's $2.63 worth of feed. At an average of 4.5 pounds, at $5 a pound, we profited $17.33 per processed chicken. That's six times the profit, but it took three weeks longer to raise them and the time to process them. Scaling up or down wouldn't change the amount of time for daily work much. Moving and feeding 5, 25, 50, or even 200 chickens would take about that same 10 minutes, but would require different sizes of mobile coops. The processing time, once you're good at it of course, is about 10 minutes per bird from live to in the fridge or cooler. For us, 16 birds took 8 hours and 40 minutes to raise and 2 hours and 40 minutes to process. That's 11 hours and 20 minutes of labor. How much could we make in an hour if we sold all 16? We would have grossed $360. Subtract the $82 in expenses and that leaves us with $278 profit. So we could hypothetically make about $24.50 an hour raising 16 chickens every 8 weeks. Let's scale that up to 200 chickens that take the same amount of time to raise with the added labor of processing 184 extra chickens. That would gross $4,500 with $1,034 in expenses. The $3,466 would mean we could make $82.50 an hour. Obviously, we would need to dedicate a lot of space to accommodate that many chickens and spend money on infrastructure and more equipment, but raising chickens can create a decent income for a few minutes of work a day with a few full days of work every two months. With ample land and the right equipment, one could stagger the batches and processing days in a way to process 200 birds a week all year long. That would be an income of over $180,000 per year, assuming you didn't take a week off. You'd end up with a lot of chicken poo raising that many chickens, and that's why we'll never go full chicken. We raise just enough to add chicken manure to our compost that will fertilize the garden without having an overabundance. Balancing the amount of livestock and crops is necessary to maintain a sustainable farm. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you learned something and continue to follow us on our farming journey. We'll see you next time!